comes to environmentally friendly construction, the National Association of Realtors Building in Washington is a dream. Constructed with recycled concrete and steel on land where a gas station once stood. Very ungreen. The building is encased in glass that conserves energy by reflecting heat and providing strong insulation. And the designers used locally made furniture and recycled flooring. No law said the Realtors Building had to be built that way, but code writers hope that will change. Uh, today a major milestone has been reached with the release now of the IGCC public version 1.0. And here it is, just in, the 100 plus page International Green Construction Code, also known as the IGCC. Version 1.0 means it's the first. Code writers, as well as others promoting commercial construction in green, hope that local jurisdictions will use this model code to write new laws governing commercial building. This law would govern everything from what kind of materials get used to uh, what kind of waste is produced, how energy gets consumed, what is done with water, with light, what about the land that the building is built on. The goal? to make the commercial structures of the future more sustainable. This is the foundational base on which, in my opinion, sustainability will develop in this country from this point forward. Christopher Green is an architect who worked on the code. He says sustainability is a many-faceted thing. How much energy is it using? Uh, what is its footprint on the land? Uh, what is the quality of the air in the building? Uh, what type of materials are being used? Green and others here say buildings use 40 percent of the energy used in the United States, outranking transportation and industry. That includes power from printers and fax machines, lights that stay on all night, and well, lots of other things. At the Realtors Building in Washington, rain is collected to water the plants and employees are encouraged to bike to work. Even the urinals are green, meaning waterless. If the code writers get their wish, it's one of many things Americans can look forward to. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.